Hello, good afternoon. So this is my first time vlogging in Seoul, even though I've been here for like four months, which is crazy. So I decided to go ahead and film a week in my life just to go ahead and show kind of what I've been up to, what my life has been like, because I only have about a month left here in Korea. But today I have a test shoot with my friend Diane. This is her Instagram. We're gonna go see her. We're shooting in the most beautiful studio. So I'm actually running a little late, so let's get going. We're gonna go to see the hair and makeup artist first, and then Diane's gonna pick me up, and then we're gonna go with the stylist to the studio. So let's go. We just wrapped the shoot. It was pretty short, only like four-ish hours. So now I'm headed to the bus stop to go home. It went really well. I'm actually friends with the photographer, so it was really chill and the model was really cute. So very easy day. Oh, I'm tripping. Okay, bye. Good afternoon. So it is Saturday um, and the weather is beautiful. So I decided to go on a picnic. I have all of my picnic stuff here. So I'm just gonna pack up my bag. I wasn't sure what I wanted to bring with me. I don't know if I wanna do embroidery. I bought this embroidery kit from, oh, from Artbox. I bought it from Artbox. It's the most expensive one I've purchased. This one's $12. Normally I only spend like a couple bucks on my kits. So I'm like nervous to start this one, even though it's not that expensive. I'm just a little nervous and it's really small, but it's really cute. So I'm thinking I can either embroider and listen to an audiobook, or I can listen to music and paint or something. I'm not sure if I want to bring my paints though, because I feel like it's a little bit messy and it's heavy to bring. 
but I also feel like if I start this, then I'm gonna be doing this for hours. Like even after I'm done at the picnic, I'm gonna to wanna to come home and finish it. Like this bag took me ages to embroider. It does not look like there's that much on this bag. And there really isn't, but it took forever. I think it took like eight hours. I'm sure there's embroidery pros out there that are like, why did it take so long? But for me, it took age, like it took basically about an hour of flour. Wait, how many are there? Oh, there's nine flowers, so possibly nine hours, because I kid you not, it took about an hour. Anyway, so I thought I would share a what's in my picnic bag. This is my picnic mat. It's super thin, super little. There's no padding in it. It's just like a waterproof pad. I bought this from Daiso in Korea. I believe it was maybe three or five dollars. They have so many at Daiso and there's several that are padded. But the thing though, with padded picnic mats, which I have one in Tokyo that's huge and padded, it's kind of difficult to carry around. Like it doesn't fit in any bag or it takes up too much space in bags. So you're basically carrying your bag and your picnic mat, whereas this one fits into my bag. So it's a lot easier for me. Also, I kind of don't mind that it's not padded. It doesn't bother me. Maybe if someone has like back issues or something, you might need that. But honestly, I can sit on this like all day and lie down, it doesn't bother me. One side is white. So I actually flip it over and I use this on the ground and then I put the white side up because on top of it, I put my cute picnic blanket, uh, which I also got from Daiso. And it's actually a pretty thick, like decent material. Um, this is actually technically a tablecloth. So I'll be bringing both of these and it's already so much smaller than like a thick padded one. Then I'll also be bringing my tripod and my remote, which I hope is in here. I'm, I'm gonna check. <laughs> Yeah, so it just looks like this. This guy extends and all of the legs extend. I bought this from Artbox for maybe $15. And yeah, a little remote and this, my phone holder. It's actually pretty decent quality. I like it a lot. I was looking at some on Amazon because I want to get a taller one. I think this one is like 130 centimeters. And I kind of want to get one that's around a similar height as me but those are kind of expensive, so this will make do. Also, it has a little strap on it, so you could just like wear it, it's comfortable, but I stick it in my bag. Next item is a book. I basically always carry a book. The few times that I don't, I always regret it because I don't always read when I go out. I maybe, like if I'm not sitting down on the train, I won't read. I won't read and stand up. For me, it's just kind of a pain to be holding everything. So there's times when I'm just not reading or there's times on the bus when I would rather just look out the window than read a book. But every time I don't bring it, I regret it. So nowadays I always bring it. So my May readathon ended up failing. I only read Catcher in the Rye, of course, because I love that book. So I read Catcher in the Rye and I finished, wait, what else? Did I only read Catcher? Oh my God, I think I only read one book, but I listened to like three Harry Potter books. So I started reading this book, which is The Institute. The Institute by Stephen King. So far, so good. It looks like I haven't made a dent, but I'm actually on page 100. So yeah, Stephen King books take ages to finish, but so far I really enjoy it and I've heard amazing things about it. It's very modern, which is fun because I, I haven't read like a modern Stephen King. They're all like in the 80s and 90s. This feels like it's happening right now, which is, I mean, I don't even know when this book was written, but very good. I really enjoy it. Anyways, since I failed my May readathon and I just decided to listen to 100 Harry Potter books, um, I'm still reading her. She's great. I need to finish her by the end of this month because I'm not going to be traveling with damn near any books because <laughs> I just don't have room in my suitcase. Next is my wallet and train card, obviously. Um, also, I have a chapstick just by Burt's Bees. It's their peppermint. I love peppermint. I have my hair all over everything. I love peppermint. What else? The Public Organic. I bought this in Japan. It's basically just like a tinted, um, chapstick but i typically like to layer because this is actually pretty pigmented so i put this on first and then this one or just this one whatever whatever i'm in the mood for i also have wipes to wipe off my phone to wipe off my hands yeah some disinfectant wipes i also have bug spray because obviously although the bugs have not been that bad yet there aren't too many mosquitoes out luckily but in case i feel there's a little too many bugs i have this guy and then i also have this which is such a lifesaver my my fan Oh my god it has two settings it glows like lights up like i don't know isn't it cute and you can also turn it white 
but I, I mean, I don't know why it lights up, but I'm into it. It's very fun. I, not that I ever use the light up settings. I don't want to kill the battery, but this is such a necessary item for summertime. I've been using it on and off because it act because it hasn't actually been that hot, but today it's supposed to hit 88. So what's that like 25, 27? maybe something around there. So it's pretty warm and it's really humid. So I think this is going to be necessary. Oh, and then also my AirPods, of course, of course, of course. I think that's everything. I don't know, maybe I will bring this. I don't know, or maybe I should just read. Honestly, I should probably just re read my book. Maybe I can do my ebook on the way, like on the bus and then, which I'm still listening to Harry Potter. What book am I on now? Oh, I th I'm pretty sure I'm finishing Goblet of Fire. Through the readathon, I reread The Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban. So that took forever. <laughs> and then this book, it's so long. It's really good, but it's so long. So I'm just, I'm pushing through, man. I'm pushing through. But yeah, I'm gonna pack up everything and let's go to the park. made it to the park it's so beautiful it's definitely really humid but it's so nice I found the perfect picnic spot all alone with a great view so yeah I think I'm just gonna take some pictures read my book and drink my tea done taking pictures I put my hair back it's starting to get really hot <laughs> probably because I've been moving around a lot but yeah I think I'm just gonna chill and read for the rest of the day so yeah I'm enjoying myself this park is so beautiful it's hands down one of my favorite parks in Seoul I believe it's called dream forest and I love it I love it so much Baby, you got me hurt because you taste like candy yeah, I've been craving for your crazy mind Hello, so today is a stunning day. There is zero air pollution. The clouds are thick and beautiful. I didn't have any plans to do anything today actually, but since the weather is so good, I decided that I have to take advantage. And there's this one cafe that I've had saved for ages and I haven't been because it's a little far away from me. It's in the mountains, but today I feel like there's no like better time to go because the weather isn't too hot. It's not too humid and it's clear. So it's now or never. So uh, that's the plan. We're gonna go there today. Let's go to this cafe. Uh, here is the church and here. We've almost made it to the cafe. I am so out of breath because it's uphill all the way. I hope you can hear me because it's super windy. Um, I also, I forgot to bring my book, which is soul crushing. So I don't think I'll be staying very long. I didn't discover my book was missing until I was already on the bus. Ah, oh, bro. Oh, anyway, we're almost there. At least I'm getting exercise. But I will find my niche in your car with my MP3 DVD rumble pack guitar. I don't see what anyone can see in anyone else. But up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Just because we use cheats doesn't mean we're not smart. Okay, so I finished up at that cafe. It was so beautiful and the weather today is just like so amazing. The temperature and everything. I'm so distraught that I did not bring my book. If I brought it, easily I could have stayed there for a couple of hours. Um, I only stayed for like a half an hour. So yeah, but I did find a museum nearby. So that's where we're headed to next. Fans, I want more stage. I don't see what anyone can see in anyone else. But Don I've already gotten lost. <laughs> I've crossed over this one bridge like three times, but I think I'm getting somewhere. I don't know, it's an adventure though. Incredible. 
Christopher Robin? What exactly is doing nothing? Well, I'm told it means going along, listening to all the things you can't hear, and not bothering. actually really nice it was bigger than I thought it was and the exhibition was really interesting so I'd recommend it I do think it's a little expensive for what it was but it was really fun so I am super beat I'm just gonna go home eat relax I have a movie night tonight with a friend not like virtually a virtual movie night so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the day and I'll see you later Let's go.